Today we unveil the latest advancements of one of France's most fearsome war machines, the Dassault Rafale. Inspired by the concept of a gust of wind, this aerial predator dominates the skies with unrivaled supremacy. However, in a military sense, its name translates to a burst of fire, a fitting title for a fighter jet designed to rain destruction upon the battlefield. Armed with some of the most lethal weapons known to modern warfare, such as Storm Shadow or Skulp, Hammer, Meteor and Mica missiles, the Rafale is a force to be reckoned with, striking fear into those who dare challenge its might. Moreover, if you want to delve deeper into these extreme weapons, check out the links in the description below where I have created video content on the Rafale's armaments. The best way to stay connected with us is by subscribing to the AirPro channel. So, today we are going to explore the advancements of the Rafale in its F3R, Rafale F4, Rafale Marine and Rafale F5 versions. But before that, let's take a quick look back at its history. In the late 1970s, the French Air Force and French Navy sought to replace and consolidate their existing aircraft fleets, including the Jaguar, Mirage 2000, Mirage F1 and the E-Tender, which belongs to French naval aviation. To reduce development cost and boost prospective sales, France entered into an agreement with the UK, Germany, Italy and Spain to develop an agile, multi-purpose fighter, the future European fighter aircraft, now known as the Eurofighter Typhoon. However, subsequent disagreements over work share and differing requirements led France to pursue its own development program. French officials envisioned a lightweight multi-role aircraft that would also be attractive in the export fighter market in addition to fulfilling both Air Force and Naval roles. This contrasted with the British requirements for a heavy, long-range interceptor. The French Ministry of Defense required an aircraft capable of both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground operations with day and night operability in adverse weather conditions while also ensuring carrier compatibility for the French Navy. Construction of the Rafale A based on the 1980s ACX program began in 1984. The aircraft was rolled out in December 1985 at St. Cloud and made its first flight on 4th of July 1986 from the Sor Test facility in southern France. Piloted by Guy Mitomorward, during the one-hour flight, the aircraft reached an altitude of 11,000 meters and a speed of Mach 1.3. Interestingly, the Rafale A technology demonstrator remained in use until January 1994 and was retired after completing 867 successful sorties. Following the success of these demonstration programs, confidence in the viability of a full-scale Rafale development program grew within both the French government and industry. In June 1987, French Prime Minister Jacques Chirac announced that the government would proceed with the project. On 21st April 1988, a contract was awarded for four pre-production aircraft, one Rafale C, two Rafale M's and one Rafale B for testing and validation. This is Prajesh Majumdar and welcome to Airpra. Let's dive deep into today's content with so Rafale. Rafale is a highly agile modern jet fighter designed with an aerodynamically unstable airframe relying on digital fly-by-wire controls to ensure stability. It measures 15.27 meters in length with a wingspan of 10.90 meters optimizing aerodynamic efficiency. Its height of 5.34 meters allows for compact carrier storage while a wing area of 45.7 square meters enhances lift and maneuverability. With a maximum takeoff weight of 24,500 kilogram, 
The Rafal balances power, agility and operational versatility. Aerodynamic design and composite materials. The Rafale features a delta wing with a Cronard configuration and serrated patterns, providing exceptional agility, stability and control across all flight envelopes. The extensive use of composite materials up to 70% reduces weight and is designed to lower the radar cross-section and infrared signature. The aircraft can withstand forces from minus 3.6 G to 9 G with a maximum of 11 G in emergencies. Advanced Avionics and Sensor Suite Equipped with the Thalos RBE2AA Active Electronically Scanned Area, in short AESA radar, the Rafale has enhanced detection, tracking and targeting capabilities even in high threat environments. The front sector of Chronics, in short, FSO system, which includes an infrared search and track IRST sensor, allows for passive detection and tracking of airborne and surface targets without emitting detectable radar signals. The Spectra electronic warfare system provides advanced threat detection, jamming, and countermeasure capabilities, significantly increasing its combat survivability. Integrated Weapon Systems The Rafale's modular weapon system enables it to carry a wide range of munitions including the Meteor for beyond visual range engagements, the Mica for medium to short range air combat, the Skulp EG cruise missile and AASM Hammer precision guided bombs for ground strikes. It can also conduct anti-ship missions with the AM-39 Exocet Sea Skimming Missile and execute nuclear strikes when armed with ASMPA missiles. This versatility allows the Rafal to excel in air security, ground attack and nuclear deterrence missions with high effectiveness. Data Fusion and Network-Centric Warfare one of the Rafale's most significant advantages is its ability to integrate data from multiple sensors and sources, providing the pilot with a comprehensive situational awareness. This capability enhances decision-making and mission effectiveness in complex battle environments. Cockpit The Rafale's cockpit is designed for superior situational awareness and pilot efficiency. It features a glass cockpit with three multifunction displays a wide-angle holographic head-up display and a hands-on throttle and stick in short holder system for seamless control. The advanced head-mounted display enhances targeting by allowing pilots to cue weapons with head movements, enabling the smart release of mica missiles. The cockpit is fully compatible with night vision goggles. For safety, the Rafale is equipped with the Martin Maker Mark 16F00 ejection seat ensuring rapid and reliable pilot escape in emergencies. Superior Engine Performance The twin-engine configuration powered by SNACMA M884 Echo turbofan engines provides an excellent thrust-to-weight ratio, fuel efficiency and reliability, delivering 50.4 kN of thrust each when dry and 75 kN with afterburner. These engines enable super cruise, allowing the Rafale to sustain supersonic speeds without afterburners, reducing fuel consumption and enhancing operational range. Rafale F3R This is an enhanced version of the Rafale F3 standard featuring the integration of the Meteor Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, an upgraded RBE to AESA radar, the Talios targeting pod and improvements to the Spectra electronic warfare system. It also includes refinements in avionics, sensor fusion and communications. Rafale F4 The F4 standard enhances connectivity, sensor fusion and AI-driven systems while upgrading the RBE2 AES radar and Spectra electronic warfare suite for improved stealth target detection. 
It adds the Thalos Scorpion HMDS for better pilot awareness and supports new weapons including the Hammer 1000 and Mica NG. The aircraft also features improved engine performance and maintenance diagnostics. Rafale F5 The upcoming F5 standard is expected to introduce next generation sensors. The RBE2XG radar, AI driven automation, enhanced network centric warfare capabilities, and improved electronic warfare systems. It will feature more powerful engines to support its sophisticated avionics and will incorporate enhanced stealth features. Additionally, it will support unmanned wingman operations in coordination with remote carriers. The F-5 will be designed to carry the ASN-4G munition, a scramjet-powered hypersonic missile being developed by MBDA for the nuclear deterrence mission. Rafale N The naval variant of the Rafale is specifically designed for carrier-based operations featuring a reinforced airframe, strengthened landing gear, an arrester hoop and a carrier compatible avionics to withstand the stresses of arable launches and arrested landings. While retaining the multi-role combat capabilities of its land-based counterparts, it is optimized for operations from Karobar aircraft carriers such as Francis Charles de Gaulle and future carrier platforms ensuring superior performance in maritime warfare. The Rafale F-4 and F-5 standards will push the boundaries of air security and adaptability, integrating advanced avionics, weaponry and AI-driven systems. Designed to dominate the skies, the Rafale will remain a formidable multi-role fighter well into the 2040 and beyond.